How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some weird mysteries that are sure to freak you out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. In a bizarre story coming out of Kenya, it's been reported that a witch doctor apprehended thieves using a swarm of bees. In May 2022, the Criminal Investigation Unit, DCI Kenya, took to Twitter to announce that three individuals had been arrested, thanks to the help of a witch doctor. Several weeks earlier, a farmer in Kakamega County, a region in Kenya, some 370 kilometers northwest of Nairobi, reported that his livestock were going missing. The farmer, 42-year-old Tollybert Imbayaka, reportedly employed the services of a local witch doctor to help him find whoever was stealing his animals. DCI Kenya reported that the witch doctor visited the farm to perform rituals and incantations. The report says that Imbayaka was told to wait two days then the thieves would allegedly present themselves. Sure enough, two days later, three men, Hilary Momanyi, John Boccaccio and Winston Mutelli, appeared with the stolen animals, having been allegedly attacked by a swarm of bees. Bizarrely, the men's hands were said to be bound together with bees as a sort of makeshift handcuff. And while this grandiose tale certainly seems too outrageous to be true, there is some video footage that appears to corroborate the story. Take a look. As you can see, the entire town seems to be parading down the road. Here you can see the alleged thieves carrying a goat and calf. If you slow one angle down, you can actually see one of the men with both his hands bound together with what indeed appears to be a swarm of bees. This is certainly a pretty out there incident and if it weren't for DCI Kenya reporting the crime, you'd find it hard to believe. DCI Kenya or the Directorate of Criminal Investigations is an organization akin to the FBI in the US. They investigate nationwide crimes of a complex nature such as fraud, human trafficking and child endangerment. So what do you make of the bee summoning witch doctor who saved the day? Love to hear your take on this bizarre story in the comments down below. Sticking with the summoning of animals, a viral clip on TikTok purports to show a man's ability to control a flock of birds on command. User JessBlaze35 was taking a break at her local park when she spotted something truly odd. Take a look. As you can see, a man on the boardwalk is holding his arms out wide in a commanding stance. A flock of birds hover overhead. He then lowers his hands and it looks as though the flock obeys his commands as the birds all immediately fly to the ground out of sight. Naturally, the comments section had a field day with this bizarre piece of footage. A whole gamut of hilarious suggestions spewed forth. People said he was a wizard, a bird whisperer, a dude having a main character moment, and one person even said he's the final boss of New York. While this sighting probably is just a coincidence, there's almost no doubt that the man would have felt proper majestic as the birds seemingly obeyed his bidding. This next sighting comes from one of our viewers who goes by the Instagram username Zurahio. Several times this year, our viewer has seen strange light formations out the front of their house in Waddle Up, Western Australia, about 30 kilometers south of Perth. Every time they spot the lights, they form a strange cluster. This time they managed to get two separate sightings on camera. Take a look. The first sighting shows several strange lights hovering in the night sky.
The second sighting shows a series of flashing or pulsing lights in the same area. At first, they're quite subtle. But then, right at the end of the clip, they light up brightly in a distinct formation. Our viewer says there's never any noise when they appear and can't quite explain what they are. They said they can't help but wonder whether they're a spaceship of some kind. The area where this sighting took place is barren and flat, with no buildings around that might have flashing lights attached to the roof. It's hard to tell what we're seeing here for sure. It's definitely a strange one. What do you think could be causing these bizarre lights in the night sky? Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to our viewers, Nan, who's a big fan and watches the show regularly. Hey Marie, thanks so much for watching. Love your work. Gangkwapi is a YouTube channel based in Thailand. The team of paranormal investigators travel around Southeast Asia looking for proof that ghosts really do exist. In this episode, they investigate an old abandoned property that they had heard rumours about. Locals say that the area is heavily haunted by spirits and other supernatural beings. One shack in particular is said to be where most of the activity happens. The team heads in to take a look. The surrounding jungle is dense and overgrown. While the area is clearly abandoned and eerie, nothing particularly strange happens at first. Eventually, the team decides to set up a makeshift altar. They present an offering to any nearby spirits that may be present. It seems the offering works as things quickly take a turn for the worse. <sighs> Watching that again, in slow motion, a dark figure crawls up the wall and escapes out the top of the roof. You can hear some clunking sounds coming from on top of the roof. <laughs> The team runs to safety and tries to make sense of what just happened. Eventually, they muster up the courage to take another look in the shack. As they look around, there's no sign of anything at all. So are the local rumours true, after all, is this abandoned shack home to something supernatural? Take another look at the siding and make your own judgement. Since moving here, I have felt like this house just didn't want us here. In May 2022, mother of two, Jessica Cantonese, shared a clip to TikTok that seems to show something lurking in the family's house. The clip went viral, cementing Jessica's suspicions that the house is haunted. Take a look at what's been captured. Jessica and her daughter dance for the camera and all seems perfectly fine. However, if you pay close attention to the bedroom in the back, you can clearly see a dark shape move past the doorway. In a comment on the clip, Jessica confirms that she and her daughter were the only ones in the house at the time, and her husband was out with their dogs. So nothing should have been moving in the back bedroom. What makes this video even more creepy is that Jessica had always suspected the military housing they live in is haunted by some kind of presence. One year prior, when the family first moved in, the floor in the kitchen became unusually hot. 
builders had to replace the entire floor and couldn't quite explain the reason for the high temperatures. The family also began seeing things like shadows, doors would open and close, and lights would turn on and off, seemingly all on their own. In another video, Jessica explains that her toddler has begun talking to an invisible friend. Is that a rhino? No, it's Jessica. Where's Jessica? It's right there. Go say hi to Jessica. The toddler says that the friend is also called Jessica, but it's a shadow and he only talks to it down the hallway. Spurred on by these eerie events, Jessica does some research on the property and discovers that a lot of the military houses in the area were built on top of an old cemetery. Just to add more nightmare fuel to the fire, some ring home security footage shows more eerie activity in the hallway of the home. In this footage, the house is empty, yet you can clearly see shadows appearing in the hallway. In another update, Jessica says that shortly after moving into the house, she randomly passed out, despite having never fainted before in her life. About a month ago, I was on the couch and um, I just passed out. Never in my life have I ever done anything like that before. And thank God my husband was home. In another clip captured by their ring security system, we can see the front door to the house open. It seems to open by itself, despite Jessica and her husband diligently locking it every morning. The house was empty when this footage was captured. With the alleged haunting just getting more and more strange, the family has since applied to the military to move house. They have had a pest inspector check the entire property. The family were hoping a wild animal living in the roof might explain the eerie noises and the moving shadows. However, the pest inspector found no sign of animals or bugs of any kind. They also invited a priest to come and bless their home. He stayed for several hours, said prayers with the family and offered spiritual advice to the family as they transitioned to a new home. Jessica says that they've found organising the move challenging because everyone in the family keeps getting sick as other obstacles keep arising. My toddler, my baby, and my husband are all super sick. So now we can't get the house blessed and we can't move out. So Thousands of viewers offered their support to the family in the comments of the video. Some said they should be careful as it appears whatever's haunting the home may be keeping the family sick so they can't leave. This is definitely an eerie story backed up by equally unsettling videos. It's a developing situation, so as always, I'll put links to Jessica's TikTok in the description below. It's well worth checking out. Before we take a look at a mysterious photo captured in a dark wooded area, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Our last series of photos comes from another viewer of ours, Scott Collingwood Beard. Several years ago, Scott lost a close friend to alcoholism. The Gloucestershire local said his friend would go camping in the Forest of Dean, a sprawling woodland park and former royal hunting ground in the southwest of England. Scott's friend, who will remain anonymous, went out alone into the woods one cold UK winter. Several days passed and his family hadn't heard from him. A group of friends set out into the forest to look for him. Eventually, they found their friend's body lying next to a burnt out fire. He had apparently succumbed to the elements. Shocked and saddened by what had happened, friends and family gathered in the woods right where their friend had set up camp. They took a series of photos to remember the day. When the mother of the deceased stood in front of the group to say a few words, something strange was caught on camera. Just next to her, on the right, you can see a distinct orb of light. 
Scott says that the woods where this photo was taken have a dense canopy so no sunlight could get through. It was a dull, overcast day and no flash on the camera was used. Yeah, we can clearly see an orb of light just above the mother's head. Scott isn't sure how to explain the photo and has been hesitant to show it to anyone before because he thought people might think that he made it all up. Given the sad story that it's his mum and that the photo was taken right where he passed away, it certainly does make you wonder whether their friend and lost son was taking one last moment to say goodbye. Now, if you want some more freaky paranormal mysteries, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive scary playlist right there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Let us know in the comments section below which one of these clips you thought was the weirdest or scariest. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.